the fifth time Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni has broken the world, broken the world record. She is simply incredible. Incredible, unreal, brilliant. Those are just some of the words that best describe the American champion. Going to Paris, Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone does not have very lofty goals, unlike the others. She has proven herself time and time again, after all. What are you most looking forward to being in Paris? Just the experience, having the world back together for the Olympics. Still, that doesn't mean she's going easy on her competitors. What motivates me to continue to go on is the fact that there's always more that can be done. And knowing her, there's a lot more that she could do. Even she knows that. Honestly, no such thing as a truly perfect race. I feel like there's always something that can be improved upon, so. Honestly, this is what people are expecting to see in Paris. And it is a new world record! My thoughts crossing the finish line um, were just a weight lifted off of me. Unsurprisingly, Sydney, along with three-time world champion Grant Holloway, was named the captain of Team USA Track and Field at the Paris Olympics 2024. The track and field events recently commenced in the country's biggest stadium, the Stade de France, a few days ago. As is pretty obvious, McLaughlin Lavrone will be competing in the women's 400-meter hurdles in a quest to defend her Olympic title. After missing out on the indoor season of the Olympic year due to an injury, the American put forward a dominant display in the outdoor season with an unbeaten streak and also created a new world record in the 400-meter hurdles with a time of 50.65 seconds in the U.S. Olympic track and field trials. Uh-huh. The world-class sprinter stunned the world after a terrific performance in the U.S. trials, qualifying for her third consecutive Olympic Games. She spoke about lowering her world record below the 50-second barrier in a post-race interview and said, What is a time that you could get someday? <laughs> I mean, I would love to dip under 50 at some point. I don't know if that's this year or I don't know if it's next year or whatever. Um, but just always chipping away, seeing what's possible and continuing to just improve the race. There's so many different ways to run it. As you know, she intends to defend her title in the event and therefore continue her legacy. However, she faces challenges from Dutch athlete Femke Bol, who has been in top form in the outdoor season and holds a personal best of 50.95 S in the 400 meter hurdles. So even if just a few weeks ago, it looked like no one could prevent McLaughlin Lavrone from winning gold in the 400 meter hurdles in Paris, it doesn't appear as a shoe in win anymore. While she owns the three fastest individual performances in event history, the Dutch champion is slowly inching closer to her greatness. Bull, who had previously run 51.45 seconds in London in 2023, obliterated her personal best on July 14th at a meet in Switzerland with a time of 50.95 seconds. With that, she joined McLaughlin Lavrone as the only women to run sub-51 seconds in the 400-meter hurdles. Even without accomplishing that remarkable feat, Bull was already the second fastest woman in history in the event prior to her new personal best. That said, a win from Bull would count as one of the biggest upsets in Olympic history. Notably, the last time they went against each other was at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics when McLaughlin Lavrone took gold in what was then a world record, while Bull won a bronze medal. Nevertheless, many are convinced that it will still be Sydney who will come up on top this time. Her potential gold medal is one of many projected for Team USA, which is favored to win the most golds. Even Bull acknowledges Sydney's greatness. It's inspirational and motivational how McLaughlin Lavrone's racing and seeing how she's raising the bar, the 24-year-old Dutch champion was noted saying. In light of this, sports enthusiasts are beginning to wonder if Sydney could one day be the face of track and field. What does it really mean to be called the face of a sport, you may ask? It simply means whenever you think about a sport or league, and usually the face is the best player in that sport, or at least close to it. For instance, when you think about the NFL, Patrick Mahomes comes to mind first. For the NBA, it's still LeBron James, Novak Djokovic in men's tennis, Max Verstappen in Formula One. Of course, Simone Biles in gymnastics is a given. You get the point, right? For track and field, a couple of candidates stand out. 
There's Jamaica's Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Sharika Jackson, and American Shikari Richardson. Some might even argue that Richardson is the face right now. But no one has really taken that mantle since the greatest track and field sprinter ever Usain Bolt retired from competition in 2017. Before Bolt, names like Michael Johnson, Carl Lewis, Florence Griffith, Joyner, Jackie Joyner Kersey, Wilma Rudolph, and Jesse Owens were the faces of track and field. With track and field currently taking center stage at the 2024 Paris Olympics, American Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone and Noah Lyles are each on the verge of grabbing the face of track and field belt loud and clear. Nothing screams being the face of a sport like having superiority over your opposition. Sydney has, without a doubt, been doing that in the 400 meter hurdles for the last couple of years. Basically, no female or male hurdler in the 400 meter hurdles has reigned over the event the way McLaughlin Lavrone has since Edwin Moses in the late 1970s to late 1980s. A two time Olympic gold medalist in the 400 meter hurdles, Moses won 122 consecutive 400 meter hurdles races between 1977 and 1987 and set the world record in the event four different times. Sydney surpassed that when she set a new world record in her specialty event for the fifth time last June. Simply put, Sydney is well on her way to being amongst the greatest in the sport. There's nothing that screams the face of your sport more than breaking and setting world records on a constant basis. As if that's not enough, nothing screams being the face of a sport like being marketable. The American champion currently has brand endorsement deals with New Balance, Tag Heuer, Gatorade, Neutrogena, and more could be on the way after the Paris Olympics. Overall, Sydney is just one of the many Team USA favorites to bring home gold medals from their respective events. At the end of the day, Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone is talented enough to win several medals at the Paris Olympics. Anyone who has followed a career that started with her dominant high school performances at Union Catholic knows that. From there to last June's US trials, where she set the world record for the fifth time in her career, and the second time she has won Olympic trials gold in her career, the possibilities are endless. The question heading into this legacy building summer was always this. How many chances will she have to add to her medal tally? Well, she is planning to defend her two gold medals from Tokyo. As you probably already know, she won gold in the women's 400 meter hurdles and the women's 4x400 meter relay in the 2020 Olympics. The Team USA star is expected to compete in both events shortly and is a favorite to return to the top of the podium. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone is expected to compete in the women's 400 meter hurdles and the women's 4x400 meter relay. The events she and the United States are defending gold medalists in coming into Paris. How will the women's 400 meter hurdles work in the Paris Olympics? In the first round of the women's 400 meter hurdles, there will be six heats. The top three athletes in each heat will move on to the semifinals. Athletes who do not qualify in the first round will have a chance to compete in a repechage round, which will feature four heats. The top athlete in each heat and the two fastest athletes not already qualified will qualify. In the semifinals, there will be three heats. The top two in each heat, but the fastest two who have not already qualified will advance. It would not come as a surprise when Sydney will be among those on the starting line in the finals. The women's 4x400 meter relay events, on the other hand, will take place a day after the women's 400 meter hurdles final. Sydney is expected to dominate there as well. Watch this to see who else is in Paris right now.